Now it's an absolutely stinking hot day in the hood today. So I thought, why not get out on the push bike, clock up a few Ks and enjoy the day. Although I enjoy a bike ride, like with all things I do in my life, I always enjoy things better when I've got a camera in my hand or a camera close by. So I decided to dig out the Bronica ETR, 50 millimeter lens, waist level finder, a roll of Ilford FP4 Plus, a light meter, that's it. And we're just gonna get on the push bike and just, just pedal around and see what we come up with. It's a colour day really. I mean, we've got some cracking, cracking blue skies and we've got this wispy white sort of clouds going by. And it's just, ah, it's just glorious. It's definitely a colour day, but I'm quite enjoying shooting black and white. So uh, black and white it is. All right, let's pedal on. Got one roll of film. That's a lie, actually. I've got two frames left on a previous roll of film in the camera and then I've got another roll of FP4. I've just shot and wasted and burned off the last two frames of HP5 that's already in the camera. So what we're gonna do is change that now. Okay, so that guys is now loaded. That is now loaded with Ilford FP4 Plus. I really have missed shooting with a Bronica. Love, love, love Bronica. Okay, let's go. Sharp stones. Nice bit of contrast. Dark water, light stones in the middle of the river. The river's so shallow at the moment. I can't make that work. In this angle, that's better. Not perfect. That's not two shabs. Try that. F11, 1 2 50th. Okay. 10 frames down, sorry, 9 frames down, but I've only taken 7 shots. On my old Bronica ETR SI, when the dark slide was in, you couldn't fire the shutter. This ETR, I don't know if this is how it's supposed to be, but the ETR, you can obviously trip the shutter with the dark slide in. So, uh, <laughs> There you go, so two frames, wasted. This river is like bath water. Probably cleaner than my bath water, actually.
we're almost done I've maybe two frames left just got to find two more things to shoot and that's that roll of film done then I can get back to base develop it scan it and see what we've got I've, I've enjoyed this I've really enjoyed it one thing is abundantly clear to me how much I absolutely love adore cherish shooting the Bronica ETR system I absolutely love it I miss my Bronica ETR SI like crazy the ETR feels as good if the results are good we'll stick with the ETR she's a beauty she's an absolute beautiful camera continue on and finish off this roll of film Just regarding that Bronica ETR, aside from the obvious problems with the, it's got a light leak. It must have been a like it for a while. So I'll, uh, I'll strip it all down, put some new light cells in it, and it should be good as gold. The other problem I had obviously was the uh, the dark slide on the ETR side. You couldn't take a shot. It was a, a lockout system. It worked a treat with the ETR, unfortunately. And that doesn't seem to be the case. I'm taking a few shots with it, and uh, then I realised the dark slide was in. So that's. Bit of a learning curve, bit of a pisser. Other than that, I was pretty pleased with how the baby worked. And I will definitely be giving it a repair, give it new light seals, and uh, we'll take it out for a spin again in future. Loved it. Until next time, cheers.